Hey there, it's Brittany and I am back with the August curated bead box. It is Bayou Blues. I haven't looked at this until just this moment. Um, they, you can get this box, I think it's $20 including shipping. Um, and you can shop their sister store, dollarbee.com, and these are the codes for the items in their sister store if you wanted extras of anything. This box also includes um, a finding starter kit, which has the items listed on your screen. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and then we'll go through it and hopefully make something using the items. All right, the findings kit this month is silver. I'm gonna guess that this is the, this is the only like 12 millimeter thing I'm seeing at the moment, but these are cool. And I like the other ones that are in here even more. These are um, the Golden Spot Marble Style Glass Bead, six inch string. I don't know, I don't know that I would call that golden. It's like brown, so. But this, the picture of these is on the, um, these are in the picture on the box, so they're not a replacement. They're so cool. They're so cool. They look ceramic, but they're glass. They're coated. They're painted to look that way. Um, then, I think this is the next one. Uh, this one's brown spot marble style glass bead. These are even cooler. These look like a stone with blue in it. These are so awesome. I love these. I like that they come up with new styles. Um, sometimes it can be hard to come up with new styles of coated glass beads, but these are really cool. I like those. This this whole box is like my color palette. So. <laughs> this is the next one, eight millimeter marble style glass bead and turquoise this is a 16 inch string those are nice um, then we have eight millimeter brown and crystal crackle frosted duo bead ten and a half inch string so these are frosted but it's brown and clear with a crackle on the inside these look so cool together oh my goodness um, eight millimeter turquoise gemstone bead, seven to eight inch string. These are dyed, um, but this one actually looks like turquoise. I know it's not, but it looks, they did a really good job with making this one look like turquoise. These are really cool. I like this color palette, obviously. Turquoise is in the name of my channel. <laughs> um, then we have eight millimeter lapis gemstone bead, seven to eight inch string. If this is lapis, these are definitely dyed because I've never seen lapis this bright blue. There's no like gold flecks in it. So it, it might be lower quality lapis that's been dyed blue. Um, then we have eight millimeter gray brown gemstone bead, seven to eight inch string. This is a good box for making a stack of bracelets because it's all eight millimeter and that's, huge, that's a typical, well it's not all eight millimeter, but it's a lot of eight millimeter. Um, that's the typical bracelet size. And I'm just realizing that this is supposed to be eight millimeter, but they're six millimeter. So this must've been a replacement or that's a typo because these are smaller. Um, and then we have six millimeter brown spray glass bead, 10 and a half inch string. So these have like a, a white spray on them. Then we have um, six millimeter turquoise bloom spray glass bead 10 and a half inch string so again another like turquoise on blue spray color so we have um 16 millimeter and 12 millimeter galaxy beads so the 16 millimeter is galaxy luster glass six beads large hole oh there's large holes that's pretty cool and we have the 12 millimeter blue galaxy six beads very nice very shiny then we have um, some 10 by 6 silver metal spacers 15 beads oh those are cool those are neat if you really had a teeny tiny paintbrush you can make them into rainbows because it's a rainbow like pattern but those are really cute i don't have those makes me want to go buy some more and then um, 34 by six millimeter silver filigree metal tube, two tubes. So these would be fantastic to go with these on a bracelet. All right, I'm gonna look through my stash. I have like a whole Southwestern like box 
Um, and I'm gonna pick some stuff. I think I wanna make a necklace and maybe some bracelets or something. I will be back. Okay, I decided I wanna make a leather bracelet. I got this little buffalo out of my stash. I got a little tiara cast ring out of my stash and some tan leather. I'm gonna use these because I really like that color brown. Um, I know the blues are not quite the same on the um, buffalo, but I'm totally okay with that. It's, it's cute. I think it's a cute little thing. So I'm going to take a piece of leather. I'm winging this, so I'll measure it in just a minute. About 24 inches, but I don't think I'll need that much. I'm going to take my ring and my leather, and I'm going to do a loop on this side. Okay, just like that. Stick it through the loop and then bring both tails back through that loop. The only difference this is, um, is I'm making a one strand bracelet instead of a two strand. So um, that's why one end is much shorter than the other. And then we'll just snug that up to the ring as closely as we can get it. There we go. I'm gonna leave this tail because I think that's a great opportunity to put on a bead or like a little dangle. And then I'm gonna slide on my beads and I'm just gonna do a knot after each one. So, I mean, we've I've made a similar version of this on my channel several times, but it was always double strand. This one's just single strand. You're using way less leather. And so if you maybe only have two feet of leather, this is a great piece other, you know, versus a whole yard or two yards. And it's more economical. Now, the good thing about doing a bracelet like this is it's going to come together really fast. You can make a ton of them with the curated bead box because you get several strands of, of um, beads. So just this one strand is gonna make one bracelet, if not more than one. And then you don't have to knot it all the way through. If you wanna use a different type of stringy material that might be a little bit stronger, you could just do a strong bracelet like this. Um, maybe a nylon. Or you can have your three here and then um, you could put like all knotted and then you could put a different section of beads all close together and then knot some more. The all other really great thing about this is you can make this a, um, a wrap bracelet as well. You don't have to stop at just one loop. These are fun to make, like just get out a bunch of beads that you've been yearning to use but maybe don't have a lot of time put together a bunch of bracelets. And I am just going to continue that until the, the bracelet's the length I want. Okay, I made it as long as I needed and I grabbed a cute little clasp out of my stash that matches the, the th look, the vibe. <laughs> I also made a little dangle and I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna use one of these blue beads to show you how I did that. Um, and then I, I tried doing barrel knot. It did not go well. Um, so if you'd like to know how to do a barrel knot, please go to Kelly's Bead Boutique. <laughs> Kelly's a wonderful lady and she does some fantastic um, barrel knots. I'm just going to come through, come down here, and tie a knot. Kind of like if it was a bead. And this is totally fine, totally secure, and we're just going to try and slide that down towards the other knot. And I'm going to do one more. 
And then we'll just end up gluing it with some GS Hypo Cement to make sure it sticks. Like I said, if you really are a fan of the fancy knots, that's totally okay. Typically, I'm using a button or a bead on the end as a closure, but I really liked this, um, this clasp, and I think it fits well with the ring. So, um, yeah, that's the way I'm attaching it today. Not pretty, but effective. And we can even do one more. kind of sit in the middle of those two knots. There we go. All right, I'm gonna grab my E6, not E6, I'm gonna grab my Hypo Cement, GS Hypo Cement, and dab it where that leather is, or where the knot comes out. I did dab just a tiny bit on the top of this knot down here as well. Then I'm going to take my little buffalo, slip that on my ring, I'm going to take um, some jump rings from the kit. And a head pin from the kit as well, or the box. And one of these blue beads. And one of these blue beads. And I'm just gonna take the head pin, slide the bead down, and then fold the head pin 90 degrees. And then I will clip about half an inch out take my pliers and fold that back or roll that back I should say and we have ourselves a little loop and then I am going to take one of those jump rings and put my little loop on the jump ring slide on my ring here and of course we're going to trim those leather pieces I just wanted um, my glue to dry and then I'm going to take another jump ring slide on my other dangle I'm gonna put it on the other side of my little buffalo and then I think I'm going to take one more of these little metal beads and slide it on this guy. So we have a busy like cha-cha looking bracelet. And then I'm just gonna try and get a little knot in here. There we go. No need to glue that knot. And then I'm just gonna trim. So we have a little dangle right there, super duper cute. And I'm gonna trim this already been glued and with our little southwest knotted bracelet super duper cute so a couple different techniques today how to tie on to a ring um, some knotting and then how to make little dangles so uh, I'm not counting this in the tutorial <laughs> But I like it. I think it's a little rustic. I like how it looks, but you can use whatever knot you're comfortable using. I loved the beads in this box because I'm a Southwest girl. Um, they just speak to me, these colors, blues, you know, blues are my favorite. Turquoise is the name of the channel. Come on. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in curated bead box, check out the link below and you can save 35% off your first box by using coupon code TURQ. ST35 at curatedbeadbox.com. Um, let me know what you thought of the box and um, have you made a bracelet like this? Have a good day. Stay tuned for Goldie. Bye bye.
cutie booty. Hi, cutie booty. How are ya? Good girl. Just taking a nap. Need her hide away. Hi, honey. Good girl.